In the world of Yu-Gi-Oh, there is one word and one phrase that strikes fear in everyone's heart, and that is meta. Just look at the TCG of tier elements with the new Shizu support cards, and it became tier zero. Look at that mess, can you believe it? But in Master Duel, there are about three archetypes that come to my mind when I hear the word meta. Blue Andres, Marincess, and branded now only one of those is going to be the focus on today's video if you guys can take a guess but i'm not running the archetype alone i am combining it with my hero deck to see what it's like what's up youtube my name is rev and welcome back to another master duel video today i've got a little treat for you what if i told you that the hero deck as great as it is could use a little more consistency. So why don't I take Branded and combine it with Hero? It's nothing new. You've seen other people on YouTube doing it. Gave me the idea of giving my own spin on it. And you know what? It has paid off. Let me show you something real quick. So currently I'm in Gold Tier 2 in the new season. And I ranked all the way up from Silver 5 or 4 just yesterday to Gold Tier 2. Look at the match history. All of these. Out of around 20 duels... I've only lost three times, and that's pretty amazing, honestly. Okay, from silver four to gold two. I'll take all these wins. We're gonna be breaking down all the wins and even some losses. I will tell you right now, some of the losses, I went up against bad matchups. One of them being, one of them unfortunately being Thunder Dragon Colossus Lock. I couldn't do anything about that. Another one was a Marincess deck. They went first and they put their whole board on the field. So couldn't do anything about that, unfortunately. And the third loss was due to Gradles. Now there's one specific card here, where is it, that if this card in your monster zone is destroyed by battle or trap effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, equip this card to that target. That ruined my deck so much. It was interesting to fight against, I just couldn't do anything about it. Now it's time to show you the deck, so let's go ahead and jump into it, what we have here. This is utilizing the main, it's main deck 44, extra deck 15, with the majority of the hero engine. Now there's a really interesting ruling that I discovered on Twitter. If I can find the tweet, I'll put it on screen for you right now. The ruling is as such. For Mask Chains 2, let's read it. Discard one card, then target one face-up monster you control that has a level. Send it to the graveyard. Also, after that, if it left the field by this effect, you can special summon from your extra deck one masked hero monster with the same attribute, but a higher level than the attribute level monster than, than the original monster that you sent. So for example, we use Mask Change on Fallen of Alabaz or Alubur, the Jester of Despia, correct? You're following me here, right? Dark attribute, four stars. Dark attribute, four stars. Dark Law has six stars and is a dark attribute. Master Anki, eight stars, dark attribute. So if that's the case, then this ruling is so stupid good if you're gonna be running masked heroes with branded honestly i can't i can't fault that that's amazing and the only reason i have two mask change twos and two mask change is that for mask change two if i open up with fallen of alabaz and alubur and i can't really do much other than the mask change play i can still discard one card say open with a malicious and a malicious is in deck that's a free way to get malicious into grave or maybe a shadow mist if i want to do like a ferris malicious way and I still have Fallen of Alabaz and Shadow Mist in my hand and I don't have Alibur or I don't have Branded Opening or Branded Fusion to start. I don't think Mask Change 2 is a bad card, especially if you're running with a combined archetype of Branded Hero. But let's go with the full deck list and explain to you what's going to happen. Two Maxis, one Vision Hero increase. I had some duels to where I, you should have two increase because if you draw the one that you've got, well, that's going to be a bit problematic. Two Ice Blossoms, one Denier, only one Stratos. I feel like I don't need two Stratos or even three. One is enough. I also have my Vion starts and my Ferris here. I've got so many starters with this, it's not even funny. Two Vion, two Shadow Mist, one Liquid Soldier, you know, because you want to plus on cards because it's a fusion-based deck. Well, two Fallen of Alabaz, two Alibur, Jester of Despia, two Ferris, two Malicious, one Honest Neos, one Nib, one Regeki, one... Feather Duster, two Poly, one Miracle Fusion, one Fusion Destiny, one Lightning Storm, two Branded Fusion, one Super Poly. I don't have a second Super Poly. If I did, I'd throw it in here and sag maybe a regular polymerization because I want that extra control. Two Mask Change, two Mask Change, two, one Called By, one Cross Out, two Forbidden Droplet, 
two branded opening, and two branded in red. The extra deck can change based on how you want to do things. I created a deck list before including like more extra heroes and other monsters, but I ran into a little snag here, which is interesting. So there's an interesting thing about the branded archetype. These branded cards lock you into fusion summoning. Like for example, branded fusion. You can fusion summon one monster that mentions Fallen of Alabaz as material from your extra deck using two monsters from your hand, deck, or field as material. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except fusion monsters. So if you expect to to do branded fusion and then go into like Cross Crusader or Wonder Driver, you're sadly mistaken. So if you're going to start with branded fusion to get Lubelion and then possibly Lubelion to Mirror Jade, you better be prepared to only fusion summon from the rest of your deck here. Now, with that, Mask Change... For the masked heroes, they are fusion monsters, so that's why the masked heroes work really well with this. I might switch some ones around. I ran into some problems where I'm missing timing on the Shining. I'll probably swap him out for someone else. Who knows? But so let's go into some of the duels, and I'll break down what happens in all of them so you can understand the plays, some combos that I've learned. Maybe you guys have some better combos, or... A different variation of branded hero these will be my first attempt but hey went from silver four to gold two in a single day like uh, maybe about a few hours i'll take that this video might be, might be a bit long it all depends on which replays i decide to show you guys okay this first one is going to be an exodia turn one ftk deck they tried to pull exodia they went first i decided hey if you got it you got it let's see if you can do it it was very interesting, my opening hand, which is two openings, one in red, one Shadow Mist, and one Denier. So if I was going to go first, obviously would have done branded opening to pitch Shadow Mist. So I can get that free draw afterwards, Aliver into Lubelion. You know the combo. And now as I was looking at my hand, I'm just seeing that this guy pop off my, okay, Treasure Panda. I see the Exodia piece, so let's see what he ends on, shall we? This might take a minute. You know all these FTK decks are. Okay, so that was his end board. He pulled as much as he could. Maybe he was trying to get all pieces engraved, but I'm not even sure if it was going to be an Exodia Necross win condition or whatever form of Exodia as well. But the combo ended here, so must not have been too lucky in terms of pulling the cards he needed. But once that happened, my my uh, turn came around. I decided to activate Chicken Game for myself so I can plus a little bit. I decided to call by one of the Exodia pieces because I don't know what you're going to do with it. You know, maybe that face down card, you return all Exodia pieces to your deck and you draw four or five or whatever. Either way, just like the play I said, go branded opening, pitching Shadow Mist. Chain Link 1, Shadow Mist, Chain Link 2, Alibur. So Alibur gets to get me branded fusion. And off of Shadow Mist, what do I pull? Stratos. So with that being said, I still get my Stratos. Still have my normal summon, actually. This next duelist is a Dark Magician deck. I, you're playing silver and gold and you get rogue decks? I'm, I'm down. I'm so down. All right, then. Ooh, I'm going first for a change. Let's go. Oh, Maxi, Liquid, Raigeki, Lightning Storm. At least we have Branded Fusion, so we have some form of a start. So Branded Fusion activates. Sending Fallen of Alabaz and Shadow Mist. Going to Lubelion and Lub oh, Chain Link 1 Shadow Mist, Chain Link 2 Lubelion, pitching my Rageki because I don't think I'll need it. And here we get Fallen of Albaz back into our deck and we go straight into Mirror Jade. Shadow Mist gets me Stratos. And I think I, s I decided to stop there. All right. All right, because I had Max C, so I'm like, I, I, can, I can pop off. That's fine. So Soul Servant for the Max C, because I see you're going to try and get your Dark Magician on the field, huh? That's a free special summon for me. The Dark Magician, Berry Magician Girl, I believe you get your Chocolate Magician Girl in your hand from that. Then they decide to equip the Necklace to their Berry Magician Girl and end. Once again, three rules of Max C. You either negate, minimally summon. Ooh, a Judgment Set, huh? Well, there goes my Stratos. That's fine. Mirror Jade, send to you. Vanish. Direct attack for 3k. And end. And since I sent Albion, I can actually uh, grab a branded spell or trap from my deck. And I set Brandon in red. Now, I can't activate Brandon in red because I don't 
have a Fallen of Alabaz or an Alubur. So this is going to quite suck. But they understand that they... They were beaten by a Mirror Jade. That's honestly... That's, that's kind of how busted Brandon could be. A single card can control the entire duel. So GG's for this guy for sticking through it and going out on his terms. All right, this one's against Gladiator Beast. I haven't really fought many Gladiator Beasts, so I'm glad that this, that the, I'm glad that this video has a lot of variety when it comes to the duels that I fought. That's gonna change once this deck hits Platinum, I can tell you that much. Okay, oh no. I don't like seeing two Malicious in hand, ever. Well, Branded Fusion, sending Shadow Mist and Fallen of Alabaz for a start. Go to Lubelion, then Lubelion for Fallen of Alabaz. Using the Stelves away. And, okay, thank God. So, Lubelion effect to pitch a Malicious, so that's at least out of my hand. Here comes Mirror Jade. Gentle Mist to get Vion. I, I would have loved to get grab Ferris, I wasn't thinking, but, you know. Vion pitching Ferris, because I already picked my Malicious. And I have another Ferris, so it's not like I need him. And we set Mask Change too. It's very limiting depending on what starts you get and what routes you decide to take. So Gladiator Proving Ground gets to add a Gladiator Beast. I decide, yep, to Mask Chains too. Get rid of my other Malicious. Here comes Dark Law. Because I know he was drawing cards. So fun, fun thing, or fun fact. When I saw his Test Tiger hit, I had to get rid of it. Because he already special summoned, he already did his normal summon. Then you can tribute this card to target one face-up Gladiator Beast monster you control, shuffle that into the deck, then special summon one Gladiator Beast monster from your deck, and treat it as if it was special summoned by the effect. I'm not sure how much he was going to pop off, so I had to get rid of that Test Tiger, and then Albion let me get Branded Fusion, because I have Fallen of Alabaz and Alibur still in my deck. So then, when my turn comes around, ooh, Fusion Destiny off the top, and, I'll, and you can only run one of those. Nice. So we activate Branded Fusion again. We repeat... We rinse and repeat the Fallen of Alabaz and Shadow Mist, so we could do Shadow Mist, Chain Link 1. I don't think I Lubelion. No, because they would be pointless too. But we had a Poly, got Liquid Soldier. This is just consistency out the wazoo. Look at that, Sunrise, and we get that Miracle Fusion. What happens next? So Miracle Fusion gets pulled, and what gets pulled off Liquid Soldier? Okay, Denier. So Denier is going to go Engrave, activate Denier. You guys know this. Considering I have one malicious engrave, boop, there he is, back into my deck. Activate Forbidden Droplet to pitch Fusion Destiny? I guess I don't really use DPE in this package. So this must, this was a mistake. I should not have popped this. I mean, he could have activated it either way. I guess my only call was to pop it. The defensive tactics, they can't be destroyed, and any battle damage that they take is reduced to zero, and since... He got destroyed. That was so good. The fact that he wasn't destroyed and it was battled, he could shuffle the monster back and then special summon a gladiator beast. But I forbidden droplet it, so it didn't get its effect off. And there's the scoop. So some of these duels are luck based because you know you get a good hand. Uh, they, that can be said for about any duel really. You get a good starting hand, the other opponent bricks, vice versa, that sort of thing. What's my starting hand? Speak of the devil. Ooh, two branded opening. Do I activate branded opening and discard branded opening? Get rid of branded. Thank you. It's Alibur for branded fusion off that. Branded fusion into Lubelion. Yep, I agree. Now, this is just one avenue that you can take with Lubelion. I've seen other people do Albion, so then they can... If this card is fusion summon, you can fusion summon one level 8 or lower monster... Your extra deck accept Albion by banishing fusion monsters mentioned on it from the hand, field, or graveyard. Ah. So here's actually a fun thing. If you probably go into Albion first and then say and then say Fallen of Alabaz and another card are banished, like say, for example, you use Albion from field and Fallen of Alabaz in your graveyard. No, that wouldn't really work because I would I would have preferred Albion to stay. In the graveyard for a branded spell or trap for yeah no i, I would much rather do the lubelion that's just me but if you want lubelion and mirror jade on the field at the same time for like more power you could start with albion that's 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 what that is okay gotcha 
But I do like having a Fallen of Alabaz in my deck, so just in case, you know, I want to pull another Branded Fusion off of that. Stuff like that. What do I get with Shadow Mist? Vion Starter? I didn't do a normal summon, so we still have that. Sending Malicious. We still have our Poly, so... I had to banish him for a second Poly. You know, they don't know I have a Poly. Well, I guess they don't know I have a second Poly. So I fuse you away. Oh, do I go to Masquerade here? Gonna have some fun shenanigans? Yes, sir. So, I'm sure you guys, especially if you played in the Duelist Cup, this was your worst enemy, especially with the Branded Engine. Let's read, shall we? While you control this fusion summon card, your opponent must pay 600 life points to activate cards or effects. And that is every effect. So you're gonna be taking quite the amount of damage if you can't kill this thing, or if you don't have Dark Ruler no more, if you don't have Forbidden Droplet, if you don't have Super Poly, this thing is going to hurt. There's 600, and when I saw spell books, I'm like, ooh, you love to activate cards. So, let's see, shall we? Burn another 600. Burn another 600. Get some spell counters. Burns another 600. And there you go. The risk was not worth it for the reward. So they surrendered. Oh, no. Okay, what you guys are about to see is kind of evil. This is where I say Masquerade can be very situational. But also, if you can't kill your opponent, which there was a misplay in here, I absolutely could have OTK'd them. That's what the hero and branded combination deck, they can OTK quite easily. If you don't happen to do that, you might misplay and Masquerade can actually save you. Let me show you. With Invoked, they activate a lot of spells, right? Spells, effects. You got you got Magical Meltdown, you got Alistair, you got Invocation, you got Mecha Butts effect. You got quite a bit going on there. But they don't seem to pop off just yet. So with one card set, lead with Lightning Storm? What you got? And it was a set infinite impermanence. So now that that's out of the way, Branded Fusion into Lubelion. Chain Link 1, Shadow Mist. Chain Link 2, Lubelion. Setting a Forbidden Droplet. Yep, I don't deal in duplicates. Here comes Mirror Jade. And then what do I do? So I get... Ooh! I get Liquid Soldier off of that because I still have my normal summon. Go ahead and pitch Malicious. Now I already activated Branded Fusion, so the Malicious into, you know, Wonder Driver linking is not on the table. But that's okay because we have Liquid Soldier. So this is going to be Sunrise, so we're going to get Miracle Fusion, and then what do we get off of Liquid? That's always the question, isn't it? Alibur and Fallen of Alabaz. Alright. So Branded Opening, we send the Alabaz. And what do I get? Another Branded Fusion? No, Branded and Red, because I do have a Despier Fallen of Alabaz in my graveyard. Bring them back, and then we can Fusion Summon. But what do I do here? What do I do here? Oh, right. Did I realize my misplay? Or did I even misplay? I think I just felt like going into Masquerade. Now, a misplay there would be maybe activate Miracle Fusion to get absolute zero because you could definitely do that. I just decided to go into my battle phase. Again, when I'm doing these duels and watching the replays, I don't know what's going on inside my head. Oh, and also, fun fact. The only reason I didn't attack with Masquerade is because I couldn't because with Brandon and Red, cannot attack directly this turn. Excuse me. Main phase two comes around, I, activ I activate Miracle Fusion and get my absolute zero. So, we come back full circle. Do you remember Masquerade's effect from earlier? You have three effects. That was one of them. Magical Meltdown to get your Alistair. You probably top deck Meltdown. Activating Alistair, that's two. You get Invocation and... Going out on your own terms. That is fair. Masquerade is evil. I rarely go into Masquerade. I was just testing something. That card is severely evil. Now, let me ask you this, guys. What better way to end a combined archetype video with sort of a combined archetype face-off? This was my last ranked duel. It was actually my rank up to gold two for the night for the previous evening. This is Branded Blue Eyes. This deck actually looks very well constructed, and it... I was shaking going against it. It was quite formidable, honestly. I was thinking about running Fusion Deployment in my deck, 
now seeing it in action i might i might consider it now the only thing here is seeing brigand the glory dragon your opponent cannot target other monsters you control mo oh that's actually a good lockout for fallen fallen of Albaz. so that's actually good for a hero run back okay i might try that but that works more with tri brigade but it could still work let's see what the branded heroes got against the branded blue eyes this deck oh this match was phenomenal so if you guys have stuck through this whole video more props to you i know it's a bit of a long one and my explanations tend to ramble on but i i might not include all of the duels but who knows all right starting hand i'm going first Ooh, seems like we have the hero package more than just my branded stuff all right vion start sending a shadow mist cool cool got a liquid soldier what do i end on for my combo let's see here I believe it's probably Sunrise, and depending what I pull... Okay, Sunrise Defense. It's Sunrise Defense, absolute zero attack, I think I remember. So we pull our one and only increase, I get rid of it, because I don't... I get rid of it because I don't need it over Ash Blossom. So Miracle Fusion for absolute zero. Just because I wanted that removal. Now, here's a big misplay. Why did I set Mask Change 2? Absolute Zero is a rank 8, right? Or, sorry. Absolute Zero is 8 stars. Not ranks. Ranks are exceeds. And Mask Hero Acid is 8 stars. Mask Change 2 does not work on Absolute Zero. That is my misplay. But it didn't really cost me the duel. I was just playing the whole duel questioning, Oh, why can't I Mask Change into my, into my Acid? because they're both the same stars. So they play Branded Fusion. I try to Ash Blossom it because I'm like, I cannot let that go through. That's a free Mirror Jade for you. Cross out Designator my Ash Blossom. Well played, sir, well played. So I can't tell you how intrigued I was to see White Stone of Ancients and Fallen of Albaz. And there's Albion. Albion to Fusion Summon itself and a Fallen of Albaz away into Lubelion, and then, he, this is what I was talking about earlier, Lubelion sending their blue eyes, returning Albion and Fallen of Albaz, you get Mirror Jade. This gets you two free additional bodies that are both, both eight stars. Oh, you could if you wanted to be dirty like this, you could exceed summon into, into oh, wow, that's, that, that, that gives me ideas definitely something to look into with a branded Xyz variant. <laughs> Either way, they attack my Sunrise, and then they just decide to end because they're smart. They know about Absolute Zero. So now that a card was destroyed, or no, not a card was destroyed, they activated their stone, their egg, to get Jet Dragon. And as you guys must know, Jet Dragon, other cards you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So a Harpy's Feather Duster here is useless. What do I do? I activate pol polymerization, fusion summoning my absolute zero and my fallen of Albaz into Mirror Jade. You're gonna love what happens next. Absolute zero has a mandatory effect that needs to activate in the grave. The second it leaves the field, it activates. So chain link one, absolute zero. Chain link two, because this is a quick effect, my Mirror Jade. I send my Albion. I target. Or I didn't even declare my target yet. They flip skill drain because they don't want me to get rid of anything on their field. Because it can't be destroyed. So they thought, I'm going to use Mirror Jade to their Jet Dragon. Therefore, the Absolute Zero, the way the chain resolves, the Absolute Zero is going to wipe the board. I think you guys know what happens next. Skill drain is chain link three, right? The Chain Link 3 Skill Drain, the way the chain resolves, Skill Drain is going to negate everything on the field. Mirror Jade is going to get negated, but not Absolute Zero. So Absolute Zero's effect is going to go through. So just let's watch the fireworks, shall we? Skill Drain resolves. Everything is negated. On the field, all of that's gone. Mirror Jade's effect is going to activate to destroy my Mirror Jade, which is fine. I Harpy's Feather Duster, they Solemn Judgment. Look at their life points. And they activated Solemn Judgment paying four, paying half of it. They were at 7,000, now they're at 3,500. 
My mirror jade is at 3,000. They get to live another turn, right? Right? What if I told you I still have my normal summon? Still have my normal summon, battle phase, 1k, mirror jade, wipe their field. And there you go. That was by far th this opponent, GG's. GG's to you, good duelist. Wow, you actually got all the titles for all the festivals so far. Well done. Well done indeed. That 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 was a very, very good duel. Kinda hesitant for the skill drain there. Although their what other choice did they have? Their board would have been wiped regardless, so honestly, very fantastic duels. If you guys like the branded hero deck, please let me know down below if you want to see more of it. I'm probably gonna take this deck into platinum. And any duels that are like really good or really close, I'll be sure to save and record. And there's the ID right on the screen right now, so you guys can check and see if you want to follow me. Maybe we'll get some duels going on, you know? Until next time, I have been Rev. Please be respectful to your other duelists. We're all human beings just like yourself. And keep on dueling. Have a nice day.